This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to modify track labels in Adobe Premiere Pro. Plus, I'll illustrate how to create custom workspaces for a personalized interface. Pierre asks, this is about customizing the Premiere Pro track headers. I have many, many tracks in the timeline, which I need to rename. The button editor is not very intuitive, and I can't seem to change the audio tracks at all. Also, the default size for these track headers is small. Every time I open a project, I have to pull the header out to the right to make it larger. Perhaps there's a way to change the default size to the large setting. And the answer is yes, it involves workspaces and not the button editor. Let me show you how this works. This could be as many tracks as you want. I'm keeping the interface large so you can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to work with three tracks. If I select the timeline, type Command Plus, I can enlarge the vertical height of the track until I see the name. And you can see I've already renamed a couple of these. Let's rename this one as well. Command Plus, there we go. To rename a track, control click on the name itself and select Rename. And I'm going to call this French Interviews. Done. In fact, I can do the exact same thing. Command minus to shrink the track. Option plus to enlarge the audio track. Control click on the audio track and say Rename. And we're going to call this Dialogue English. So to rename a track, make it large enough vertically, Command plus for the video, Option plus for audio, and Control click on the track name and say Rename. Now we need to change the alignment. I want to make this wider, so I'm going to grab here and drag out. I want to have the project uh, panel be smaller and the tool panel be smaller, so I've got plenty of room to work with. And then we'll do Option, sorry, then we'll do Command Plus so we can see all of our tracks and drag our tracks up. Okay, well that's helpful. But how do I remember that? That's where workspaces come in. I'm going to go to Workspaces and create, save as a new workspace. I'm going to call this Larry's Workspace and click OK. Now when I go back to editing and say Window Workspaces Reset to Saved Layout, it goes back to where we were originally. Now when I want to see the new layout, I go Window Workspaces, Larry's Workspace, and everything opens out. So to rename a track, control click on the track name and enter what you want. Then to have the alignment the way that you want, Create a new workspace after you get everything the way that you want it to look. And then whenever you need to get to it, here we're in editing. Now we're in color. Now we're in Larry's workspace. And now we're back to editing. It's an extremely flexible user interface. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 313. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and Time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.